Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Champions League final. Chelsea versus the wonderful kits of Inter Milan. Being held at Wembley. Champions League final held at Wembley. I've never seen that one before in this game. Um, yeah, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Um, but it is being held at Wembley. And Chelsea have news. The captain for this game and this game only is not Mason Mount. Oh, there's the Ashley Cole Tifo. Lovely, lovely Ashley Cole Tifo. But yes, the captain for this game is not Mason Mount. He has gifted it to his best friend, Declan Rice, who will captain the side. And if we win it, we'll lift the trophy. Inter Milan, by the way, if you take the sponsor off their kits, good God, are they nice. Like, the, the home one is okay. This away one is beautiful. And then the third one's pretty decent as well. The one with the, like, the random colours across it. That, that. Jesus. But yeah, I've got them in the, I've got them in the white. The classic blue versus white. Um, I mean, I suppose that's not really classic, is it? But, you know, it's the best I could come up with. Um, as the Chelsea boys, though, it is just the first team. However, we've removed... Who do we remove? We removed someone from the bench to allow N'Golo Kante on there for his final game, uh, his final game in his career. Whether he'll actually come on, I don't know. If we're smashing them 3-0, then he probably will. But otherwise, probably not. As the, uh, the Champions League anthem plays, Chelsea look for two Champions League wins in a row. There it is, the white and blue versus the black and blue. Here's Chelsea's lineup first then. All sorts of yellow cards again. Ilan Melier starts in goal with Chilwell left back. Oh yeah, there's the, there's the bench there. Chilwell left back, James right back, Koundé and Delict in the centre back positions. Camavinga and Rice CDM with Mount Cam, Chiesa, De Ketelaire and Werner, the front three. This is uh, this entire team. I believe, other than maybe Camavinga, Camavinga wasn't in this team last year, have been to a Champions League final. Maybe Camavinga has, but with a different side. I oh, know, he was with Leicester, so he hasn't. Um, other than Camavinga and uh, Frank Diawara, of course, the chip shot man, he was not He was not in the Champions League final last year. Here's Inter Milan's starting lineup. by the way. We'll go through that in a second. Well, as we look at the bench, Alphonse Ariola, Harvey Barnes on there, Rafinha, former Chelsea man, of course. Screenia, Gravillion, Consler in the back three, Zubamendi, Barella, Lamar, the centre mids, Greenwood and Devine on the wings, and then Lautaro Martinez and João Pedro, the two strikers. I have forgot about Rafinha, of course we face a former Chelsea player in the final, of course we do. We'll kick off at Wembley. Surely you'd think that would give an advantage to the English side. But it's too late now to change. We kick off Chelsea versus Inter Milan in the Champions League final. We're looking for a little bit more of an exciting one than we got against PSG last season, which was just a 1-0 to the Blues. We are still looking for a Chelsea win, though, of course. Chiesa manages to skip past Devine. And we're already looking dangerous. And it's already 1-0. It's Charles de Ketelaire. Who else? Chelsea won Inter Milan nil in four minutes. In four minutes, Chelsea lead. The absolute ideal start for Chelsea. Chiesa skips past Devine down the left-hand side. And De Ketelaer beats Griniar in the air. And it doesn't matter how nice the kit looks when you're 1-0 down. Chelsea won. That didn't make any sense. Inter Milan, nil. Already, look at Thomas Tuchel there. Looks exactly like him. Um, <laughs> celebrating on the sideline. Charles de Ketelaer, the top goal scorer in the Champions League, 11 in 13. Would you believe it? In five minutes, Chelsea lead, and it looks like the decision to have right mids for Greenwood and uh, and whoever the other one is instead of a left back and a right back might be very destructive for Inter Milan because this could be a demolishing and look at this Chiesa's in again already this is unbelievable it's Federico Chiesa against an Italian side and it's two it's unbelievable it's unbelievable Inter Milan are having one of the worst starts to a Champions League final in the history of the competition Chelsea, the two main men, De Ketelaer and Chiesa, and this 2-0. The Inter Milan fans who have made the journey may be wishing they hadn't done so, because they are getting pulled apart here. 
The goalkeeper should have done better, realistically, on that one, Ramiro. But it's 2-0. Already to Chelsea. In just 10 minutes. Unbelievable. And that decision, reminiscent of uh, the real-life decision of Pep Guardiola to not play a CDM in the final. No wing-backs for Inter Milan might have been a deadly mistake. Because Divine, he's or he must be shaken already because he's given the ball away cheaply there and Chiesa's looked over the top of the Keta there on the volley. The that one probably confidence well, say, confidence high on that one I think from De there to go for that in the Champions League final despite being well due to being 2-0 up most likely. Skriniar can see the throw in. Of course it's not over yet. We've seen bigger deficits be beaten by teams such as Liverpool. They did it to Milan's rivals of course, AC Milan. 3-0 down, turned to 3-3 and they won in penalties. It's Mount looking to make it 3-0. It's Ramiro's save. Why not? For the captain. For the captain. Oh my god, he went for the header instead of the volley. Win that though, Declan. Well, Green was beating him to it, but he'll, he won't beat him to the seconds. And he won't get the seconds off of him. Lovely Declan Rice. Still got it. Nothing to pass to though. We'll go out wide to Chilwell. Kettle there, Rice. The fans scream, shoot! He does, and it's over the bar. You might as well, Declan, you might as well have a go. Ramiro will take the goal kick for Inter Milan, who really need to get one back in this first half, you feel, for them to have much of a chance, because it has been all Chelsea so far. I don't think Melier has had to make a save in his second ever. Oh no, I suppose this is his first Champions League final, isn't it, for Melier? He, he came to the last one, but he won't have played because Mendy was still starter for last season, was he not, I think? But anyway, here they come. Greenwood, De Ligt is able to cut it off, and then a bit of a weird clearance from him, but we still get it away. Werner, well, I wanted that to go all the way to Chiesa, but Mount got in the way. We'll find Someone on the wing in the end, though, of Reese James will go all the way to the byline, cut it back. Every Consular in the way at first. It's going to come out to Werner on the edge. What a save, Romero. Brilliant save by the goalkeeper. Into Milan's keeper, the only thing that's keeping them in the game at the moment. Let's try this again with Declan Rice. Don't header it this time, Deck. Why? He got beaten to it this time, like Jean Pedro. Reese James. Boom. Oh, off the crossbar by Reese James. Would have been one hell of a place to score a goal like that. The Champions League final, Reese James, chill while well, that touch is awful from Ben. Well, how did that not go in? And we're into Barella, now Lataro Martinez. Probably should start taking this game a little bit more seriously. Greenwood, ooh, I thought he was going to cross it. He cuts back instead. Greenwood, nice ball. This is Barella. In it comes, looking for João Pedro. It's poorly cleared. It's, oh, it's in. It's Thomas Lamar. And he's going to celebrate it despite being 2-1 down. Into Milan, possibly back in the game. I don't. I, the reason I was so confused about it is because it hit the lift. Matthias got in the way of it. It was a kerfuffle. Matthias, well, he tried to get in the way of it. What? Oh, he ended up. He ended up actually handballing it, Matthias the lift. So even if it had stayed out, it would have been a penalty to Inter Milan and. Look at that, just like that, Inter Milan are back in the game, but just like that, Chiesa is bullying this entire wing again. 3-1. No, right the goalkeeper. I was, I was really sure that was going in. Well, Inter Milan back in the Champions League final again. It looked to be all she wrote for him, but they're looking to get back in it now. Skriniar. Werner manages to keep it in Chelsea possession. Chilwell will cut back, and here's Camavinga. Captain of the day, Declan Rice. Why not have another pop? Right on half time, you might as well. Nothing else is going to come. And going into half time. 2 1 to Chelsea. It's good for the Blues. Not exactly as we wanted, though. Well, 2 0 up at the beginning there of that half. But 2-1 we'll definitely take. We're not going to make any substitutions as of yet. Leave it until, well, no, we'll kick off and then we'll make them because the ball normally takes about 20 minutes to go out. So Diawara is going to come on. Diawara, he, he was always going to come on. Now, the question is, do we bring on Tammy for De Ketelair? I think we do. I mean, De Ketelair could play Cam, so I'm tempted to go proper attacking. 
because he can play Cam if you see the positions there. And this is probably the most attacking team we have. And then if we do that, we can do this and we can bring on Kante if we get another one. That's what I want to do. If we get a third, then Kante comes on for De Ketelé. If we if Inter get one, then Chiromeni will probably come on. Or maybe still Kante, but one of them two will come on for De Ketelé instead. Of, uh, yeah, in a defensive way instead of in an attacking way, Werner into Mount. But it does look like we might be all the next ones on the score sheet. Chiesa's touch is poor, allows Konza back at him. It's Lataro Martinez, Jao Pedro. Martinez again. I don't give a shit about Moran, alright? This isn't the time to be telling me about transfers that have been confirmed between other teams. This is like this is sort of a Chelsea and Inter thing. Anyway, here's the Ketelari, he'll find Werner. He's got Kamavinga in the box if he can find him. And he can. Kamavinga! It's free! He's about to go off. Eduardo Kamavinga, he's about to get off the field. It's 3-1 Chelsea. It's exactly what we needed. We've gone all oh, we've gone attacking and we now don't need to. It's Timo Werner, another man who's about to come off. Who delivers it directly onto the head of Kamavinga, of the foot of Kamavinga even. And you know what that therefore means? We don't need De Ketelaire on anymore. And Golo Kante will join the fray, the 74 overall. Eduardo Kamavinga. It's actually a really well taken goal. Great volley from the Frenchman. In his first ever Champions League final, will pass the baton. He's not the man who goes off for Kante, but we're going to imagine he is. Kamavinga gives Kante a high five. Abraham comes on for De Ketelaire. And the Ivorian, Frank Diawara, who's already on the ball. The man who probably can't believe is, is what has happened in his life in the last couple of months is on in the Champions League final. João Pedro vacates his position. Uh, I'm not sure who's coming on for him. Nothing came up down the bottom there. We'll have a look in a minute. Oh, no, it's still going through the Chelsea ones. Oh, well, the ball comes forward. Declan Rice, who is looking more and more likely to be lifting that, that Champions League trophy. It's Statriano who came on for João Pedro. Diawara, brilliant. Brilliant from the Ivorian. Still going. Incredible run. Abraham's in the middle. Couldn't find him. Kante has somehow won that header. And go, look, Kante. Still got it, Kante. Oh, Skriniar makes it off of him. Satriano. Barella into Greenwood. He's having a tough time. He's barely done anything this game. Barella again. Into Zubimendi. Into Milan, if they want to get back into it, they need to do it really sharpish. The number 35, Greenwood, skips past Chilwell. In it comes, and again, nearly another mix-up between keeper and centre-back, like there was for the first one with Koundé, but De Ligt just about manages to keep it, keep the man away, and Melier gets it. And then Greenwood, out of frustration, I think, takes out Frank Diawara again. Another sub made for Inter Milan. Getting told about that Greenwood yellow card there. Uh, nowhere to go with Diawara. Actually, no, he gave us space. Greenwood Greenwood has to give us space now. He doesn't want to get himself a red card. It's Rafinha. Of course it's Rafinha on. Rafinha joins the fray against Chelsea. He came on for Divine. Where is he? Where's Rafinha? Here comes Chiesa. Look, I, think, I think he's hoping that Rafinha, being a former Chelsea man, will be able to help contain the Chelsea wingers a bit more. He's now trying to get down the wing himself, though. He's got away from Chiesa. Oh, and he's going to skip past Reece James as well. Rafinha. Former Chelsea man is the one who's causing the most issues so far. And his ball ends up going right into the palms of Ilan Melier and Mount. And this is Abraham. And look at the space for Diawara if you can find him. He can do. And Diawara. It's Chiesa. Great save by Ramiro. It was nearly 4-1 then. Why don't we try it with Kante? Oh, because it's not even going to go to him. Oh, it is. Chiesa. Kante on the volley. Chested it down. He's going to get to that. He's going to get to that. Well in N'Golo. Still Kante. The 36-year-old. Finds Rhys James. Finds Abraham. Oh, he couldn't quite slip in Mason Mount. Barella. Consa. And look at this. Declan Rice. Honorary captain of the day. Mason Mount already having lifted the Champions League. Thought he'd let, thought he'd let his best pal get involved on the action as well. 
and it looks like that's how it's going to go down unless Inter Milan can turn it around in the final few minutes and they're not looking likely to because Chilwell's nicked it back and here comes Diawara and it's another Chelsea counter oh and it's the wrong pass it was supposed to go to Abraham of course it was I don't know why it went to fucking Chiesa up there but it doesn't matter we're nearing the 87th minute Barella last ditch punt up forward Reese James gets it away and Rice over to Chiesa Chiesa hop skips and jumps the tackle oh his pass is poor though straight at Skriniar Two minutes left, it doesn't matter. Chelsea have done it again. Reese James is probably going to beat Zubamendi to that. He hasn't done. It does fall to the keeper though. Therefore, meaning the referee can blow the whistle. Chelsea three into Milan nil. Another, another final win. We haven't got to the final and lost in the entire career mode. Yeah, there's Esri Kansa, poor lad for Inter Milan. Chelsea, in a much more exciting final than the year before, have won it again. It's the seventh time they've done it. And it just, I still can't believe Frank Diawara is a thing. But we've done it, boys. Chelsea are, yet again, the champions of Europe. Still the best team in the world. Probably the best season for a team in history. Despite winning the quadruple last year, we managed to Invincibles this. We didn't win the FA Cup, we did win the Carabao Cup. So technically it's a treble as well, a treble even as well. Rhys James will step forward along with the rest of the boys. Especially this man, the Englishman, the captain of the day, Declan Rice. Who will lift the Champions League trophy for Chelsea. Seventh time catching up with Real Madrid now, who are on, what, 13? It is the seventh for Chelsea. Celebrations rife as always. Would you believe? <laughs> I mean, you would. I, I still can't believe they held it at Wembley. I feel like that's not. I feel like that was too. That was a bit of a, an advantage to us. We probably had a few more fans able to get in, but we don't care because we've won the Champions League. Pretty, pretty easily in the end. It was pretty, it, well, it was pretty smooth sailing the whole first half, getting them two early goals, and then the second half we shut them down with the third. Ooh! Eklund Rice looks again. Look at them fireworks again, making the stands go absolutely mental. But yeah, it's, I don't know how that lighting works. But here's the picture. Matthias De Ligt, as always, in the exact same spot as he always is, right next to the trophy. He's always there. Declan Rice, the captain, is up above it. And Burrow Serra is just bored of the whole situation. He's done this a couple of times now. He doesn't care. But Champions League winners, Chelsea, yet again. It's seven now. Seven times. We've won it five times out of eight seasons in this career mode. And it is now, of course, time to have a quick look at the stats. Um, yeah, of course, look, there you go, 3-1 in the final, winner, congratulations, thank you very much. Um, that's a lovely picture of Kamavinga, uh, Champions League, I'm still looking to see the Premier League, like, golden trophy thing. Look at the Chelsea to left third trophy, we certainly are. Another Chelsea thing, is this, no, it's Alain Melier getting goalkeeper of the tournament, cool, we're getting a progress assessment, yeah, well, you need to shut up, mate, I've just won the treble with you, with 102 points, like, you're not going to fire me, are you? Anyway, to the stats. Elan Melier in 50 appearances for the, for the side gets an assist. And I think this is the most in the entire career mode. 27 clean sheets for the 29-year-old Frenchman. Good Lord, Elan. Good Christ. Uh, four clean sheets and 11 appearances as well for Aaron Ramsdale. Most of them coming in the Carabao Cup. Uh, for him, nice job. Edson Araujo didn't play at Rao Vallecano. Uh, didn't actually go up in overall at all either, which is slightly worrying because he's about, he's coming back next season to be our third keeper. And pretty soon he's going to be our second when Ramsdale gets old enough. Chilwell, 50 appearances, 20 clean sheets, a goal and three assists for the 32-year-old Englishman. Arnold yet again does nothing with his life. Gabriel Borges had one appearance, he was terrible. Nuno Mendes, 15 appearances and one goal and one assist respectively. Not too bad for the Portuguese men, who probably not next season, but maybe the season after will become our starting left back. 
Umberto Serra got 27 appearances and an assist for the uh, the Italian who's destined to become one of our starting centre backs as well soon. Now we get to Matthias De Ligt, 59 appearances with three goals and three assists respectively. More clean sheets than Ilan Melier, the goalkeeper. Maybe he's the man who's getting it done instead. Gabriel Hobson, shit. Santiago Castillo in 10 appearances. Didn't get himself a goal or an assist, but four uh, clean sheets for the Spaniard. Jules Koundé with one goal and one assist in 48 appearances. Lovely from the 30-year-old Frenchman. Rhys James, two goals and six assists. He did get injured as well during this season in uh, 50 appearances for him. Tariq Lamptey, a goal and two assists in only 14 appearances. He's, of course, going out on loan next season to uh, Paris Saint-Germain. So you know for a fact we're going to play them in the Champions League. And he's going to start. Uh, great. Declan Rice, 39 appearances for him. He's 30 years old now. Two goals and ten assists. Jesus, everyone's kind of old in our team, I'm, but I'm realising this is slightly worrying. Uh, and Golo Kante managed himself 23 appearances due to Declan Rice's long injury. He got himself a goal and four assists for the 38-year-old Frenchman who is retiring at the end of this season. Now, the 26-year-old Frenchman, Eduardo Camavinga, got 13 goals and bagged 20 assists. You can see why he's taken the reins from Kante, can't you? Good Lord. Chiromeni, less fruitful, but a goal and three assists for the 29-year-old Frenchman. Not too bad, considering he only came in in January. Yep, here's George. Mason Mountlow, the captain of the squad with 62 appearances. I think he made the most out of the whole team. 27 goals and a whopping 45 assists over the season. 31 assists in the Premier League. Jesus Christ, Mason. Uh, Batista Meyer didn't do anything at Leverkusen, actually, which is a shame. Marvin Bosch got himself two assists in 15 appearances for the club. Uh, Nonny Majuk, 33 appearances. Yet again, pretty meek numbers from Nonny here. Four goals and four assists, which is a shame, really, but, you know, there you go. Uh, Ass is actually leaving the club next year, next season. He's agreed to go to someone. I don't know who. I don't care. He's shit. He's actually Ass. Um, here's Timo Werner, though, considering retirement, of course, 33 years old. Down to 92 overall, unfortunately. Still getting himself 12 goals and 8 assists in 56 appearances, though. Then, though, we come to the pig man, Frank Diawara. Diawara, still don't know. The Ivorian, 82 overall. 25 appearances, 6 goals and 6 assists. For a man who, who just didn't exist in the career mode, what, 6 episodes ago? Not too shabby from Frank there. Castro, yeah, 1 appearance, useless. Um, Patrick Harper, see this is what I mean in, whoa Harper so he's going out on loan to Leicester next season he only made 21 appearances in them 21 he only scored 3 goals and got 2 assists D.O.R. only needed 4 more appearances to double the goals and more than double the assists like, he's just useless like, he just is Leon Bender did nothing out on loan at Watford Alexander Amaral, we still can't get rid of Federico Chiesa, 61 appearances, 36 goals and 21 assists for the Italian, who is also starting to age, terrifying. Um, but still a rollicking good season from him, 21 Premier League goals. Jack Bishop is, at loan, is on loan at a team that must be like somehow connected to Leicester City if they're sponsored by King Power there. He hasn't done anything yet, he probably won't because he's not very good. Tammy Abraham got himself 39 appearances with 15 goals and 4 assists. Not too bad for the 31-year-old there, Tammy Abraham. Not too shabby from you. And then the main man, 62 appearances, 64 goals. More goals than appearances, 17 assists, 95 overall, Charles de Ketelaire. What, 74, 81, 81 goal involvements for the Belgian. He is... Inevitable, mate. You're not stopping this man. I'll see you next season, boy.